Hello everybody, welcome to another deck guide. I think the last one went quite well. Still some places for me to improve upon. Today we're going to take a look at Syndicate Line Pockets and with a sort of poison theme this time, uh, this time around. Um, we're going to be taking a look at this deck list here that I have. I've called it Poisonous Jackpot. It's going to make use of some of the uh, some of the new cards that came out in the Forbidden Treasures expansion, including the Conjurer's Candle and Ring of Favor, amongst um, a couple of old favorites for the Syndicate uh, Syndicate deck lists. Let's have a run through the cards in this deck list. We're starting off with Fallen Railer, relatively strong card there especially if we get her protected with Veil or even behind our Defender which we'll come to later on. Um, there are a fair few cards in our deck especially our finisher that's going to come out with a pretty hefty tribute cost so if we can combine that we're going to get some very good value out of this tribute of 9 so boosting this up to a 14 point card. I favoured Fallen Railer over King of Beggars because I thought King of Beggars would be competing a little bit more for the value that we'd be getting out of Conjurer's Candle later into the game. So. Not seen too much use, I don't think. Good to include here. On to Siggy Ruben. Nice strong card all round. Intimidate, profit, lots of money. We've got Royal Decree for some consistency, along with Vivaldi Bank. These will allow us to just dig through our deck, get the cards that we need, fix it up if we need to. Fix up our hand, should I say, if we need to. Um, we are then looking at Azar Javed. Just profits and pays his tribute in one go. Two scarabs, two defenders, nasty little blighters. The bestest, cutest boy, Salamander. We pay a nine tribute cost for this guy, and he's going to poison every unit on the battlefield. I've included in this deck Tangle with a Triangle. I don't really see this deck, this, this deck, I don't really see this card being used very often. I think it's just fun to say. Um, I also think it gives us a lot of options. Um, we can boost up some of our own units because we've got two units that have a provision cost of 11 so we're getting good value out of an 8 provision cost card here or we could equally use this to remove some pesky uh, pesky opponent cards, engines, defenders, something similar to that. As I said we've got Ring of Favour, one of the nice new forbidden treasure cards, good inclusion in any deck. I've said it once, I'll say it again. Horse and Freak Show, staple, staple syndicate card, very powerful, very good, I think everyone knows what this one does. Caesar Bilzen. This guy will allow us to trigger the profitability of our of adjacent units and boost a couple of them as well. I think this is a nice a nice inclusion um, that combines well with Siggy and potentially a couple of other cards in the deck too. Ronald Blenheim, whenever a unit gains poison, gain two coins. So again, if we can get this one down at the end of the game, we're going to build up a lot more uh, a lot more coins in our pouch, and we can use those coins even after we've after we've spent the tribute cost of Salamander on some of the other cards, um, including uh, Sea Jackal, which I think is just a nice little bronze included, uh, a bronze card that we can include at the end. Only just a one out in this deck though. So of course we've got Kundra's Candle, one of the new cards to come out of uh, Forbidden Treasures. Um, it's just an incremental boost. Depending on how much money you've got, you can keep boosting and boosting and boosting your units, provided you can keep the coins flowing. Um, also has Resilience, so you're getting that in round two, keeping it into round three. It's pretty, pretty solid. We've got Maxi. Maxi's going to help us fix up our hand um, in round two. Make sure we have all the cards we need for a strong round three. Bronze units include um, Mutated Hounds. So again, it's just poison something. Um, we've got Fist Tech, more poisoning. We've got even Tide Plunder. Um, we could potentially make a few more cards that will poison or help us out in that regard too. We've got Tax Collector, just help us getting our coins ticking over. Uh, sea Jackal I've mentioned once already, just nice point slam at the end if we can keep final say. Passiflora Peaches, just again, just a, just a touch of an engine. Just a touch of an engine just to keep some points ticking over in those early rounds, just to create a bit of a threat. And um, Fistic Trafficker, a bit of versatility there. If we need coins, we can get them, but again, we can poison enemy units more more efficiently with these, uh, these low-cost low cards. So for a quick summary, I think this deck is going to be nice and fun. It's got, um, it doesn't go too tall at least in rounds one and two, but in round three we've got some nice point slam along with some deadly poisoning. Bronze cards supporting our gold cards nicely. Bits of control here and there as well. I'm excited to play it. Let's get into it. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. 
going first. Nice. Keep this. Get that taken over nicely. Need some more profitable units, don't we really? I don't think we want Maxi. Okay, we don't want those because we need the poisons for round three. Let's get the uh, First and foremost. And we'll play Peaches and get things ticking over. Well, we can play Peaches for... Unfortunately, transformation problem of speech. Five points. <laughs> we can pay this for five points. Let's do that. We'll need Form Z6 CV1265X for that. And that'll keep that ticking over, and then we get Peaches out, and that's two engines, so it's a tick of two per turn. I think that's probably better that we get. Could just do that now. Fee for game of money. Yeah, let's, do, let's get rid of that. We don't want that. Anymore. I think that's just a, a straight trade, that. A provision cost card. Don't take this sword a toy. It's been a long, hard road, hasn't it? Okay. Nice little lead. Now, is that this Again, that seems a bit slow. Do I want to just take that out? Play Ring of Favor for just points. I think we just play Ring of Favor. And then we get a two tick. Two points of tick there, look. Doubling his score. He's playing on. These are the words of Scrooge. We're going to play Freak Show now. any reason to spend any more. Ah. Believe I heard more coin clinking about in that pouch of yours. Hmm. Who would we like to see? Siggy? Poison, poison. Should be cost. Okay. So we have the cards we'd like to see. Do we just drive past now and go into a longer round three? Yes, yes we do. The swarm should give us plenty of opportunity to Perhaps a different degree. Poison, an active one. So, we should be able to value out of our small 
small provision cost cards. Well, we don't need Maxi now. Who are we missing? Candle and Decree. the order then bled it dry what three more copies Ugh! of all things never thought boredom would be the death of me oh, you yourself maybe i should talk a little more then that way you're not getting bored so Trying to think our way through the last round. I think we just try and build up a little bit of a little bit of pocket with, with these guys. Um, I think we're gonna have to poison that now. But we want to play Ronald first, don't we? Have we got enough tribute for this guy? Let's play Jackpot now. Make sure that we do. And then we can play as our Javed. So behind that, we'll play Roland. Give what we demand, we'll not harm a hair on your wench's head. Whoever harvests me stays in these woods engines. for good. Got it? Be renounced by kin, condemned by your children. Abandon your false guns. Hmm. We don't need to play that until a little bit later on. Premium grade. One right there. Okay, okay. And we're getting boost now because we're over that limit. That's nice. Some day of zero or something coming out here, isn't there? Oh. Remove his cowl, send his ear. This is fine. Poison him, a bit more. We can't poison him. Poison him. Poison him. So let's just do a quick count for when Salamander hits. We've got. Ten points. Yes, you. Have the you quick made your offering. Quick maps. That one. He's better than it's not the fire. It's if the ring won't come off, just take the whole finger. Remove his cowl, then his ears. Pay the tribute on that one. Because we have to be careful to make sure we have nine. Come, brothers, we've not That's a lot of points. I don't think we make it now. Never thought I'd look so damn fetching and feathers. Can't play either of those. I think they've got us. I think Fire Swan have got us. Weren't able to poison enough units. Mm. 
It's nice, but not nice enough. Oh, but it is! <laughs> Nature, that's it. Just spawn an old golden spirit. Big boy. Okay, we've got Siggy. I think this is alright for round one. Don't think we need rail around one. We'd like to see the fist techs later in the game. Let's keep hold of him. That's fine. Go in second. Okay. Think of a plan. I think we go for. I think we have a Bincy and I think we play Siggy after that. I think we commit big round one. I think we just go for it. Though, does it? And they've got removal types. Let's just bait it out. Let's just play Corporations instead. are people too. At least gets boosted up to a five on that turn. I'm guessing he didn't get what he wanted then if he's playing Fisher King first off the bat. He'll get it in his next round. up for a Karathi heatwave. Or some equally annoying toll removal. Uh -oh. uh, Sets, right? Mm -hmm. With me, you'll forget your sorrows. For us, actually, because that gives us another card to play. It's nine. Mm. I think if he had a reset, he'd have played it already. Is there anything that we really want? Let's play that. One man's battlefield is another man's right patch for harvest. I guess it's nicely in front. We've still got the option to go big on Siggy with an 11 boost there. I think we just. Yeah, we keep playing. We've got Ring of Favor as well. I think we've got some nice, nice, powerful points in our hand. Yeah, it's not going to be good enough, though, is it, mate? You're gonna commit your fiend? Not fiend. 
Talking spirit, no you will not. Come in that one though. Might as well get 12 points out of it instead of a card. And we are winning quite heavily on even. Caesar. And this is a helmet. Yeah, let's just play Caesar. Mm. I'm a little nervous that we're not going to have enough profit. <laughs> we're going to have to make sure we draw these fist techs. Keep this one in hand. Reach here hasn't he got nine? I've carried over. Vistex is nice, Salamander is nice. I don't want another one of those. We do potentially want that. Because we can we can just go for it in this round, can't we? Poison, poison, poison. Many poisons. Don't need you. Oh bugger. Yeah, do you know, I think I'll just drop this. I don't think... I don't think we need it. We'll go down to two coins. Four and four. We get, we get up to attribute of nine with both this text. So we can't touch our coins, but we just have to be careful the way we spend them. But yeah. That's a cheap dry pass card. We've done well to before that. Right, okay. Yes, yes, yes. So. We play this first. We don't want this one. We've got Azaj of it. Is there anyone else we'd like to see? I think probably Rayla. I think we have the perfect hand here now. I just need to make it work. <laughs> I am the weakest link in this game. Um, so, we'll play this guy out first, getting us some coins ticking over. We'll start poisoning some of the units that he's playing down, get his ticking back up. Then we'll get Azaj of it out, make sure we can pay for that. We'll I think we're okay. We get if we just play the first card out of Vivaldi, then we get two profit, right? Or we get three profit because the first one's free. That's got Veil. That's not ideal. That's profit five. Play task Heels can be filed within seven years. Do you think he likes his job? The picture would suggest he does, but his voice says otherwise. Poisoning. We have our uh, 
Roland next. Ooh, we could play Candle next. And just boost these up just a little bit. Oh, kill Tullis. Oh, sorry, my boy. You're getting. You're getting poisoned. You're just gonna get gone. Do we do we play Salamander early in this round? And then just win with the points from. We could play Salamander early in this round, but I don't think we need to. I think we just get so many points from Ron Ronald. Ronald? Oh. Roland. Roland. Next time. Receives a boost, destroy that unit and self. That's your enemy unit. So even though he's not actually boosting himself, we're on max of nine. Okay. I dealt with that problem. That's oh, okay, we can still poison. Or do we wait until he's played some more? I think we wait a little longer because this is just ticking up. And we're getting increasing value from. from poisonings. And the more cards he plays. He's got another one lock. Let's poison that one too. Let's wait though. Let's play Rayla. I don't think we need to pay the tribute cost. Let's pay the tribute cost. Let's pay it anyway. Boosted by three for being over the. I'm confused as to how tribute works. It's a five cost card boosted by six, so again. God's blasted! Just slow play. Fistic Trafficker. As you're doing business for you. Poison them anyway. I can poison this afterwards. It's no biggie. far behind <laughs> but I feel that uh, if uh, if that last game was anything to go by I think we're more than safe poison this one No, let's wait. Let's play that. That'll get boosted by nine. That'll give us loads of coins. We need the nine coins 
start with that. I think we've got him. I think I've got him. What's the last card? What's his last card going to be? I'm interested to know. It can't be the dragon, can it? Because he played Keltullus. It's like the only dragon. It just discards it. What was it? Becca's Dark Mirror. We didn't see that played, right? Okie dokie, folks. No. Poison that one. Nearly got ahead of myself. Ticks up even more. Is it not range locked? Definitely not range locked. Pay the tribute. Poison every booby. And then. Yeah, just. Push them up. Nice. It's nice. I like that. That's very good. Nasty poisons. GG. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. I really enjoyed those games. I think the point swings at the end with the Poison and Rayla and uh, Roland are incredible. <laughs> I think it's mostly broken, to be honest. Um, there are a few changes I think I would make to this deck, however. Uh, I didn't really find too much use for Eventide Plum because I was quite concerned about the way I was supposed to be spending coins. I probably wasn't spending them too efficiently, but I think uh, more options to spend coins is perhaps dangerous when you've got really high, when you're looking to spend really high um, uh, tribute costs for cards and we've already got a decent a decent couple of spenders uh, in uh, Conjurer's Candle and uh, Sea Jackal early on. Um, they are a crime card which allows Siggy Rubin perhaps to pop off a little bit more but something like one point per card so I'm not, not too fussed about that so I might consider swapping those out for some other uh, other four cost cards um, but yeah as I say I really enjoyed it let me know what you think um, yeah see you in the next one thanks very much guys cheers